So we're here at Vimy Ridge. Yeah, always, always. I try. With Mr. Greg Kenny. This is the and uh, Paul. Do you want to do the introduction? Yes. This is uh, we're at v the Canadian National Vimy Memorial, Vimy Memorial. Uh, at Vimy Ridge, France, and we're with uh, Mr. Greg Kenny, who is the uh, Director General of European Operations <laughs> for Veterans Affairs Canada. You had it nailed that in the uh, I did. Oh, wait. It's been a long, fabulous day, and I'm a little exhausted. And it's, and it's mid-afternoon. So, <laughs> and it's mid-afternoon here in, in, in France. And uh, so, Paul, we are next to a wonderful plaque that you have leaning next to one of the maple trees. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, this is, uh, maple tree was uh, donated on behalf of the citizens of Strathroy, Caradoc, uh, Ontario, Canada in uh, memory of uh, their native son, General Sir Arthur Curry, who was one of the uh, generals who led uh, the Canadian troops at the, the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Excellent. And Mr. Kenny, can you uh, tell our Facebook viewers a little bit about uh, the significance of Vimy Ridge? For those who don't know. <laughs> for those who don't know, yes, it's, it's second nature here. Um, but certainly, uh, from a Canadian historic perspective, I mean, uh, we all learned in school about Vimy Ridge and the Battle of Dieppe and, and what Canadians did there. Uh, but to be here is, uh, is a completely different experience. Um, so it was 100 years ago, uh, this week, uh, where about 100,000 Canadian soldiers prepared uh, to co contribute to the Battle of uh, or to the Battle of Artois and the capture of Vimy Ridge. It was Canada's uh, objective in the broader uh, Artois offensive and it was the first time that the four Canadian divisions fought together as a single unit under uh, Julian Bing um, and uh, it was a memorable moment or a big moment for uh, for a number of reasons um, there were a number of innovations uh, that were employed at that battle um, that were you know first for for the Commonwealth nations in, in offensives one is the rolling barrage um, the other was you know detailed planning um, there were months, the Canadians were here for months preparing for that offensive that began on April 9th. Uh, they had scale models, uh, they had battle, detailed battle plans, they had detailed maps. More maps were printed off uh, and provided uh, to Canadian soldiers than at any other point for any other battle uh, in, in the war uh, to that point. Um, so in taking the ridge on the 9th, uh, the Canadians employed uh, tunnels that we have here on site. Uh, and still maintain, and, and, the, the, and the scouts and guides are touring them as we speak. Um, and that had a, a huge impact on, on surprising uh, the Germans and, and enabling the Canadians to, to get the leg up, which was obviously very important. So the battle lasted four days. Um, the ridge was taken um, just a couple of days in, but there was fight, fighting continued after that. And it was really a coming of age for the Canadian military. Um, the first opportunity to fight together. Uh, and to have the, this uh, this huge success, I mean, the uh, the French had been here for years leading up to to 1917. They had moved the, the front forward many kilometers, and in fact, uh, a Moroccan division uh, of the French Foreign Legion, uh, the Moroccan um, division, was actually able to move right up to uh, to Hill 145, where the monument stands today. Unfortunately, uh, they weren't reinforced soon enough, and were were pushed back by the Germans. But it had a it had a huge impact. Um, in, in, in where the front line was settled after that. So the British were here uh, shortly thereafter and then the Canadians came in, uh, in late, I think it was October uh, 1916 to begin the preparations for, uh, for the taking of Vimy Ridge. And uh, okay. there's one in the plains. And as uh, we have practiced our flyby for the ninth, I hope that smoke is deliberate. <laughs> Part of the preparations for the ninth. Yeah. We'll have five planes, if all goes well, we'll have five planes start off the ceremony um, with a fly, fly past. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's a uh, Vimy flight uh, that's been in town for a few days now, uh, preparing and rehearsing. And Not unlike the battle, the, the importance of preparation. And we just had a wonderful ceremony with uh, some French dignitaries and yourself, and you both, Mr. Daniel and yourself, Mr. Kenny, spoke very eloquently. Uh, I, I was filming and I captured the uh, guides and scouts and the expressions on their faces as you all spoke and it was wonderful to see them so engaged on such an important event after having planted trees uh, with the Maple Servimi project with Mr. Daniel and uh, 
I was wondering if perhaps you saw them hugging and, and kind of taking in what was happening and if, if that uh, moved you the way that it moved me. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Veterans Affairs and our investment of youth in youth is, is, uh, is a huge element to our mandate. Um, you see that in a number of, uh, of products that we produce on, on our you know, on our website, and we have a number of learning materials available for uh, for young education um, in schools. And then we, it's, you see it here on the ground in Europe. We have uh, 21 young student Canadian student guides on on our national historic sites at Beaumont Men and at Vimy Ridge, giving uh, interpretive information and guiding tours to uh, to thousands and thousands of visitors every year. And it's really the the, the importance of uh, of what they learn here and what they take away from that experience. Uh, you know, so and by learning and understanding the history and then sharing that to to tens of thousands of visitors every uh, every day is uh, is something that marks them. And seeing people's reactions to uh, to that information, the experience that they have here at, at our sites, and then they take that with them and they share that with their friends and their families. And you know, the program's been in place since 1963. So I mean, you're talking about tens of thousands of young Canadians that have been here that have you know drank history through a fire hose and then lived it every day <laughs> and brought that home with them. And it, it has a huge impact. And so anytime, a, you know, as a, you know, working for Veterans Affairs. I mean, anytime I see youth engaged, it, 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 it strikes me. It's, it's impactful. I mean, it's, it's what we're here to do is to promote the remembrance uh, with the, the ultimate objective to, to avoid this tr the tragedy, you know, the, uh, the absolute tragedy of World War One. you know, uh, lest we forget, right? And those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. And so it's, it's critical that, that youth remember what happened here, that the lives the de that were lost, the devastation, um, uh, the families and the communities across Canada were hugely impacted by losing an entire generation uh, of, the, of their citizens. And it's something that we, we can't forget, and it, it, that's why Veterans Affairs is here, and that's why we're invested in youth, and that's why it's so impactful to me to see youth engage like this. Excellent. Well, Mr. Kenny, thank you so much. Thank you for your service and commitment, and it's uh, absolutely... Barb, Barb just stepped in. Hi, Barb. We're Hi. live on Facebook. <laughs> um, so here's the tree with the plaque. Hopefully I can get that. And these plaques are just wonderful. And they wouldn't have happened without Veterans Affairs Canada. And uh, merci beaucoup. <laughs> we have some major celebrations and commemorations happening, which are due to this fine gentleman and Veterans Affairs the Canada. Whole team, yes. The whole team. The whole team. There you go. So, Jimmy Ridge. merci beaucoup, a bientôt. We will remember them. We will. Au revoir. Nous nous, nous nous souviendrons d'eux. Oui. Merci. A bientôt. Okay. Where'd you get the Canada word mark? For Veterans Affairs? Yep.